Hello, and welcome to TechBoost TV. I'm Jaime, and today I'm going to show you how to install memory into the dual processor Dell T5500 workstation. Before beginning, we recommend checking with the manufacturer and ensuring the latest firmware is installed. For this installation, you will not need any tools. Please check out the quick spec link in the description below to learn more about processor compatibility for the T5500. Also check the manufacturer's system manual and comply with their recommended safety instructions. To begin, ensure your computer is powered off and the power cord is unplugged. Next, press and hold the power button until the light shuts off to ensure there is no residual power remaining. To open the system, slide the top latch back and the panel will pop out. Remove the panel and set the system on its side to have better access to the interior. If you need to populate both processor channels, you will first need to remove the riser board. Pull the riser board out by pulling the latch upward and pulling the entire assembly out. Detach the power cable. Flip the hard drive tray outward and also remove the blue memory cover. There are a total of six memory slots on the motherboard and three slots on the CPU riser board. Each DIMM slot and memory module is key. The specific pattern used to install memory on the motherboard and CPU riser board may vary. Consult the user's manual to determine the proper pattern to use for your specific situation. To install the memory into its memory slot, align the memory stick notch to the memory slot notch and press down. Ensure each of the retainer clips on either side of the memory slot snap into the retaining slot in the memory stick and that they fit snugly. Loose memory may cause problems. Replace the memory cover before moving on. The riser board's memory slots are located underneath the fan. Remove the fan and place the memory in each slot as needed. Replace the fan when you are finished. Replace the riser board by first reconnecting the power cable and then extending the handle and sliding the board in between the grooves to ensure it connects properly. Push the handle down to fully secure the connection. Lastly, lock the hard drive tray in place and replace the outer panel. Please check out our how-to videos covering processor, memory, and other component installation for this and other systems. If you have found this helpful, please hit the like and subscribe buttons below. We welcome suggestions on how to make these more useful, so please don't be shy with requesting additional content.